Well, hello everyone, this is The Balkan Guy and today I'm going to be reacting to the Malta song for the Eurovision 2024! We got Sara Bonici with the song Loop and out of the songs that I didn't really pay attention, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I didn't really pay attention to this national final. I have been following all the other ones and it's just been so overwhelming. That mess, I just, I didn't have time for it this year. I didn't really mess a lot of effort. I did watch some snippets that people have been posting. You know, I saw that people were tweeting about different songs. And one of the songs that people seemed to be really hyping up was this one. And I feel like this is the one that I saw most on my Twitter feed and stuff like that. So that makes me happy. People got what they wanted. This seems like this is really what the Eurofans wanted. And that's the song that we got. And out of the snippets that I heard, this one seemed the most interesting to me. So I still, I, I've never really listened to the full song. I just know a bit of the chorus that I saw in the snippets. So I'm really excited to listen to this full song, to see what it's about, to see what the performance was about because she performed tonight on the national final. So I guess let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what Sara Bonici has got for us. Is she gonna get Malta up in the final again? Is she gonna have some of that quality that Malta, ha Malta has been bringing the past five years? You know, Malta has been serving. And let's see if she's gonna continue that streak. Before I do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, because I always, always appreciate that. Especially, you know, Instagram, because that that, that is the hub of the gym selfies. So if you're into those, you wanna go ahead and, uh, you know, follow me there. <laughs> That's what I say in all my videos. And somehow I never get any new followers. So <laughs> if you wanna make this sad boy happy, you go ahead and follow me there. <laughs> And I'm clicking play to see Sara Bonici's performance. Okay, let's see. Oh, that looked like a cool shot. Ooh, power! Ooh. She just demanded attention. She said, I am here. Wow. The power in her voice, the dancers. Oh, I'm living for this. This is a banger. Oh, what a nice build up. She's ticking all them boxes. Power, good outfit, dancing. Oh, catchy chorus, catching all the boxes. I will be getting down to this in the Euro Club this year. You'll catch me on the dance floor, probably on the floor. Let's be real. Hey. Ooh, ra -pa -pa -pa. Okay. I see you, Sara Bonici. I see you. Ooh, she's bringing the heat. And I'm here for it. I love this choreography. <laughs> oh, this is good! Malta! Ooh. Hey, hey, let's go! Shit, dance break! Oh! I mean, that dance break could... Oh. What? 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 What just happened? Why are they? Whoa, she, oh, she's out on the floor doing the split. My hips could never, they would break. But she just looked that like it's nothing. Whoa. And, and we got a high note. Which could be better. But we got a high note. This song is bringing all the heat. Yo, the way they flipped her. I'm glad that our girl is alive. Oh, another dance break. <laughs> she is giving the Eurofans everything the Eurofans want. Her. <laughs> Look at her 
smile at the end of that performance. That is the smile of a person that just knows they just absolutely devoured that performance. She knows it. You see it. She's like, ah. I did that. I love it when performers do that at the end. It just shows that they are happy. It shows that they're proud of themselves. And it's just such a power move because you're like, you know, you should be proud of yourself, especially when you do shit like that. Did you see the way they flipped her? I, not only would I never let anyone flip me like that, right after they flipped her, she goes down into a split, which would totally break the shit out of my hips. My hips could never. And she just did that. Wow, there's just so much, so many amazing things about the song and so many amazing things about the performance. And the fact that that was just the national final performance, the things she could do and the things she could improve until Eurovision, this is a serious song that Malta has got on their hands. There's, I feel like there could be a little upgrade in the production of the song to make it just a bit richer, you know? It's, it still does sound, you know, it's amazing. And um, as you saw, I was loving it, but it does sound a bit still on the cheap side, which I think that easily can be upgraded, you know, bring that expensive production, which um, uh, <laughs> Malta can afford. I know they can afford it. If they gather the funds, you know, they've gathered the funds before, so they can afford it for this song to just, you know, make it a bit more expensive. And then when it comes to the performance, a lot, I loved a lot of things about this performance. The initial dance break, I was like, oh, okay, this is not giving me everything I wanted to give me. Obviously, afterwards, when they flipped her and she did a split, it gave me even more than I wanted. But just, I feel like the choreography should be a bit more cohesive throughout the performance, where the entire time it feels clean and the entire time it feels appropriate, it, it, like, for the song, while just keep those... While, the, <laughs> I still can't go get over the fact that they put the thing over her eyes and then flipped her like that. I need to go back and watch that shit again. Let, let me go back. That was... I've never seen nothing like that before. Have y'all seen something like that before? I don't know. That was interesting. Okay, here we go. So she's leaning on them. She's walking over. She puts the thing on her eyes. Why? They take her. Oh. They flipped her 360 just like that. She goes down. She puts her leg up and then goes into the split. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Malta, Malta, Malta. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I've been to Malta before and the amount of heat that this performance brings everything about Malta brings that amount of heat if you haven't gone to Malta you need to go because it is hot in the best possible way just like this performance I'm so excited about this entry I feel like this is like girl bop at its best like a trashy girl bop at its best and if you know me you know I love me my, I love me some trashy girl bops and this is amazing. I will definitely be partying to this in Barcelona. I'll be partying to this in Malmo. I'm sold. She's selling it and I'm buying it. And that's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Malta, for this amazing entry. I cannot wait to see how what this is going to turn into in Malmo at the Eurovision stage because I feel like this has so much potential. Let me know in the comments. Are you happy with this entry? Do you think this can do well in your vision? Besides that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I mean, if you enjoy my reaction, you probably want to see more of my reactions. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, because I always, always appreciate that. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.